Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to see how we can use the DataWiz Access Broker to secure our web applications using Auth0 as our IDP. Uh, so we're going to be following you know, the IDP configuration guide here on docs.datawiz.com and obtain the following values. Issuer, audience, client ID, and client secret. Once these values are obtained, we can go ahead and make our way to console.datawiz.com. We'll make a new deployment called Auth0 and generate a set of provisioning keys. Uh, these keys will be used uh, in order to talk uh, to the DataWiz Access Broker um, and get the latest set of configuration options. So give us, uh, we kind of make sure we specify a key name and an expiration date. We'll later place these values in our Docker Compose.yaml file. We'll now create a new application called Demo and set the following fields. So I've given a public domain of localhost 9774, uh, you know, which is how users will externally access my application. And my upstream server is my local, do my local Docker network, 172.17.0.1 for 3001, which is where my data was a header-based app uh, is running. I'm gonna configure an IDP, in this case, it's odd zero, and specify the following values um, obtained from our uh, tutorial on docs.datawizard.com. And make sure we also specify our issuer uh, and our audience. Uh, once that's done, uh, we have to make sure we assign our IDP to this application. We can optionally specify rules to help us enforce some access control. Uh, if no rules are specified, we're gonna default to the allow action. So we'll still kind of allow users to, to access our web app. We can also pass in header attributes, either by cookie or by header. SSL can also be enabled to uh, kind of use HTTPS connections as well. So after kind of this configuration is taken care of on the, on the DCMC side, uh, we can go ahead and run um, our, our uh, DataWiz Access Broker. So one, we can create our Docker Compose.yaml file, uh, which will contain the ports we're listening on and our provision key and provisioning secret. Uh, and the header-based app can also be pulled down, uh, which is kind of running currently on port 3001. So after we do this, we can just say Docker Compose up and the header-based app and the Docker Compose um, of the access broker will also start to start to run. So we can now test uh, you know, application by going and visiting our public domain URL, uh, which is localhost 9774. And once we visit, we're prompted to sign in with Auth0. And once we've signed in, we can uh, kind of see our header-based application here.